Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Abel Sir Thomas here with the third place winner for the Dominion Meacher Maker Contest. And this is Typhoon by Dunes. Now, Typhoon is a shipwrecked Dominion map. It's a linear style Dominion map set on Forge Island. And it offers a lot of really awesome geometry as well as, of course, a freaking ship crashed right into the middle of the map. So, yeah. It's, it's a giant ship, and it's awesome, and I love it, and it looks so cool, and I can't get over it. And I'm kind of quit geeking out, but I really like the look of the map. And the look of the map isn't just as just the aesthetics, you know. The, uh, the, the entire design of the map kind of revolves around that shipwreck idea, and it kind of evolved into a lot of cool areas to play with lots of unique geometry, as well as cool callouts like the sailboat, the tugboat, the dock, you know, the... The, the aft of the ship. There's lots of really cool ways to tell people where you are and where you need to be. So, as we're looking at Alpha, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's uh, it's going to be very difficult to defend from the inside of the base. But Alpha also has a lot of really powerful positions just outside of it. So people who are defending Alpha are encouraged to be very aggressive and, and, and are encouraged to work with their team to hold the base as opposed to just, you know, corner camping. Um, and as we go ahead and look at the Alpha Charlie flank just past those rocks, the rocket launcher spawns to, you know, offer a little bit more versatility for players trying to get around B. And the Mantis is also available to players at B um, who are able to hold the base and they get it via vehicle pad. The Mantis is really cool on this map because uh, of its ability to, to really um, implement kind of a Bravo style control and cover the Alpha Charlie flank. And also it's very useful for kind of attacking on different height levels. So for example, if uh, Mantis is being aggressive at Alpha, it can also hit players on the roof as well as the lower levels, which is really, really cool as a Mantis pilot. And of course, I just can't get over the awesomeness of the ship. It just looks so good. Um, and as we take a, uh, a look at Charlie, now Charlie, of course, is the opposite of Alpha in the setup to where Charlie is very uh, defensible um, from the inside. Players are really encouraged to hold the base from the inside, but at the same time, uh, it's very approachable by attackers. There's lots of ways attackers can get around the base and try to force those defenders out. So uh, as a defender, you want to kind of get call-outs from your teammates, and you want to stay inside and bunker up on, on that base. Now, we have some pretty terrible gameplay from me. I, I, I will admit I was not doing good this game, but at least you'll be able to see kind of how the unique geometry of this map comes into effect. Just the kind of subtle angles of the ramps and all the debris offers a lot of really cool firefights where players are dodging in and out and taking advantage of the subtle changes in terrain to try to get a leg up on their opponent. And it, it's really rewarding, especially in a metagame scenario where players are playing the map several times over and over again, they'll figure out small new nuances to the map and ways to, you know, defeat their opponents in further gratifying ways, which is which is really awesome from a competitive standpoint. So guys, uh, as we're wrapping this up, guys, I just cannot emphasize how cool Bravo is. It just is such an awesome base. It has a kind of vortex style design to where players are encouraged to move throughout the base and defend different sections of the base. For example, if players are focusing on defending the, the, the upper level right up here, attackers are more likely to come from the bottom level and flush you out, or vice versa. So there's lots of cool uh, battles going go on in the base, and of course, just the awesome theme of being a blown up battleship on top of the awesome Dominion design. It's just so, so good. Now, guys, I really recommend you download this awesome map, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, you guys have a great day. 